Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. He was Jay Silver Heels, the most famous native person of the 1940s and 50s as a result of playing town to the Lone Ranger. Silver Heels was born Harold Smith on the Six Nations Territory west of Hamilton, Ontario on May 26, 1912, the son of Major George Smith, the most decorated native Canadian soldier in World War I. He, as a gifted athlete excelling in the sports of wrestling, boxing, and lacrosse, as a young man, he was recruited to play for the Rochester, New York All Navy team, then moved on to a Canadian All Star team before fans across the continent. The Canadian team had its rosters of stars, but the most talented was my uncle Angus George. Angus Mohawk name was Suhahio, which means shining path, which became shine. He was 6 feet tall and 220 pounds of muscle and strength is powerful shot developed from his years as a lumberjack in the Adirondacks. The game flowed from him as he took to the floor. He was the most formidable adversary to opposing teams from Vancouver to Montreal then moved into the US where he promoted, to, where he promoted box lacrosse in New York. He had an eye for talent and when he saw Harry Smith play, he brought him on the team. What impressed my uncle most was Smith's fighting abilities which he had taken to New York State's Golden Gloves tournament where he placed second in his division. Smith was selected to join the all-star native Canadian lacrosse team which attracted large crowds particularly along the west coast in Los Angeles. The contest trio, movie stars and celebrities, one of whom was the comedian producer Joe E. Brown. Brown approached my uncle and made him an offer. He would arrange for Shine to get into the movie business as an extra and a stuntman in western films. He liked my uncle's size and fierce demeanor, which he thought would be ideal for the violence of the return genre. As the year went by, Jay earned greater roles, finally breaking into a speaking part as Tom Osceo in the move Key Largo with Humphrey Bogart. He also had a significant role with Tyrone Ty Ty Power in Captain of Cass Cassidy. In 1949, after a dozen years of near anonymity, he was selected to play Tonto on the Lone Ranger series at the birth of television. A founder of the American Indian Workshop which promoted native actors, he was awarded a star on the Walk of Fame shortly before his death. I hope you liked the video, like, subscribe and thanks for watching.